comfortable, bro. <laughs> it's like the cool kid in school. Like, yeah, this is how I sit at the lunch table. I'm so funny. Just waking up. Um, it's like 7.30 and it's negative one outside. Negative one Celsius. So I think that's like 20 something Fahrenheit. Um, it's cold. It's below freezing. <laughs> and it's so hard to get up and move. Um, we had the wood stove going all night, but it's only nine Celsius in here. So it's chilly. Trying to do things and do like your morning chores when it's so cold is just so hard. And also we left our water jug thingy um, outside. This holds our water and it's frozen. Oh. So yeah, that holds our well water jug, which we brought the well water jug in here because it's glass and we didn't want it to crack, but I didn't think to bring this in stupid but anyway just want to let you guys know it's negative three right now it's cold i think this is going to be like the last cold snap um, of winter and then after this i'm sure it'll get warm <laughs> i hope anyway all right on with the vlog How should I take these over there? Should I just chuck them? That was still waterlogged. That was heavier than it looked. How's it going out there? Tedious. I'm just taking all the old rusty nails out of these reclaimed boards. Nice. Well, you're making the beds and I'm making or starting the seedlings. <laughs> nice. All right, so the mixture that I have in here for those of you that are curious, I have two thirds of peat moss and then the remaining mixture I have um, half perlite and half compost. With new seedlings you don't want to give it too much nutrients with compost. So the majority of this mixture is peat moss. So I'm going to fill these trays up and then Jake and I are going to put our seeds in them. We're going to leave the trays inside at night next to the wood stove so it's warm and then we'll bring them outside to be in the sun um, until they're ready to be planted in the spring. And 20 acres of property here and Reishi and ginseng have to go poop in the only raised bed we created. <laughs> they can't go anywhere else. There's three piles in here. Uh <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so now I am planting out the seedlings. Um, I'm planting the seeds. I've kind of narrowed it down to what seeds that um, we're gonna start right now. I'm gonna start the squashes, the tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, some artichokes, eggplants. Did I say cucumbers already? <laughs> and squash. And um, Jake and I's favorite, Cape gooseberries, um, which they have many different names, ground cherries, Fasalis. So Jake and I planted these last year, ground cherries or Cape gooseberries delicious but i think we were too late on planting them and we um, they didn't get big enough before the winter hit or before the fall hit so i'm planting them now so i can get an abundance of these because these are so good hey babe I made some pu'ar if you want to take a five minute break and have some. Pu'ar. That sounds great. What are you doing? that spring summer garden going with the seeds here. Yep. It's that time. <laughs> <You're right here. I'm out here in the uh, garden you guys saw us build last year, starting in March, April. The We called it the Pandemic Victory Garden, the Panvic Garden. The COVID pandemic kind of um, forced us to build this garden quick so we can produce a lot of food, and we did. And now the cold week of the year has come in. Everything's frozen. You can even hear my shoes. The soil's frozen. What I'm finding is that when I'm digging it up, because I'm bringing all this soil... Uh, over to the new garden, the permanent garden by the Komorebi yurt. It's actually easy to move because it's all frozen together. And what I'm finding is that it's coming off in chunks and I'm finding all kinds of preserved carrots and stuff in there. So we've got a winter harvest now that's been saved for us by nature under the frozen soil. Love it. I just heard this guy. These crafty ravens have started to, I really love them. They're very intelligent, but they've started to discover my compost pile. And it's time to block the compost pile from them. And it's just really amazing gardening here on this cold week, negative five, and everything is stuck together. It makes it really nice because there's no mud. And as I'm pulling up all the, the bark and the soil you guys saw us create last year, I'm seeing like all this amazing, you know, microscopic mycelium life happening beneath the soil. You can see on the wood chips that were underneath the, the bark in the soil, we have all this mycorrhizae, mycelium, sap, really amazing life happening here. And soon you'll see us create a, um, a mushroom shed. We're gonna be using wood chips like this as the growing medium to produce our own mushrooms heated up by a wood stove. And yeah, so already creating life. And then we'll take all this and throw it in the new garden that's by the Komorebi yurt. And we'll be off to the races from the beginning with that underground mycelium internet, which is all this white powder here.
How's that? Good teamwork. <laughs> Guys, it's wood chip time. Get them. Get those chips. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, 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 guys, no. They're helping to spread them out. Fill in the gaps, bros. He just threw up to ruin oh, our yeah. kiss. Three, two, one. Oh, first try. What? I throw up in there, Kapuma. That's good nutrients. Cheer me on, hype girl.
so dirty. It's like a cloud of smoke. <laughs> It's so cool that the boards got stuck together. <laughs> I'll make it, yeah. Snowing. Try to keep it in the bed, Jake Mace. There's so much um, mycelium growing on these pieces of bark. It's gonna be like instant inoculation of our soil. <laughs> that was awesome. Whoa. <laughs>
snow day. <laughs> I thought for sure we weren't going to get any snow this year, but. And I was stomping around this morning in the boots and it's just, it's too deep for the boots, even though you don't get a lot of snow here, it really dumped a lot. Yeah, overnight, it was crazy. So we're snowshoeing it and it's so much more stable. Adventure time in the snow. <laughs> Ginseng. Come here, kitty, kitty. Come here. Come here. Hi. <laughs> He's gonna bounce it. <laughs> yes. Okay, come.
how the snow shoes. Puma and Kai are experts at flat tires. Yeah, they're not flat used tiring. to us having these long shoes on. This hoodie is so warm. Giving them the stomp technique, ready? Yeah, ready. I'm like Magneto's daughter who commands all wildlife. <laughs> That's funny. It's gorgeous. It's so amazing. The sound alone is just incredible. Wow. Mm, perfect hot cocoa weather. <laughs> Oh,
I'd say pretty good, babe. Mm. Okay. Choke up to the end of that handle. You're gonna need it. Oh, you're like a pro. What? Super, Are super pro. Guys? Just kidding. <laughs>